What's up, party people? Welcome back. Uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If this is your first time, thank you. Uh, if you're returning, thank you as well. I appreciate you guys coming back to check out what I do. This is my bar. My name is Tyler. I do reviews. I have cocktails. I do tutorials. We have fun. Uh, I discussed a little bit about the industry. And uh, anyway, I just appreciate you being here. I'm not sure what brought you here, if it was the cool thumbnail, if it was my pretty face, whatever it was. But I do appreciate it. I know a lot of people say they appreciate it, but they're lying. I'm serious about it. So again, I say welcome. Uh, tonight, uh, I want to do a review on this 14% ABV Imperial Horchata Stout by Bottle Logic right over here in Anaheim, California. It's the El Duende or the Elf. So uh, it's a limited, re limited, eh, 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 a limited edition release that they did. Let's read from the back and see what it says. After a few mischievous small batch introductions, this horchata inspired evolution of Dark Star November has found its way out of the out of the woods. Cinnamon has been selected for its delicate floral aroma and earthy bitterness, which serves to complement the rich viscosity of lactose, sugar, and transmission. This is the Bottle Logic El Duende Porchata Stout. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, pretty thick, pretty thick, um, pretty thick pour. It's um, dark, like it's dark, dark, like it's dark. If I was to take it outside, like I got a light right here and a light right here and I got a light above me and it's still super dark with a nice tan head. So that's what we got visually. That's what it looks like visually. Mm. Right on the nose, you know what I get? Um, right on the nose, I get strong vanilla. A lot of vanilla. A lot, a lot of vanilla. But the more prominent thing I get on the nose is um, Taco Bell cinnamon twist. You know those things you get in your $5 craving box? Cinnamon twist. I get a cinnamon twist right on the nose. Yep, cinnamon twist on the nose uh, and vanilla. That's really all I get on the nose. I don't get anything else. I don't get any crazy flavors. I don't get anything else. Cinnamon twist and vanilla ice cream. And that's it. Okay. I got... That's really good. It's interesting. It's interesting. That's really, that's really interesting. Um, that's very interesting beer. Um, so I got blasted in the mouth with Cinnabon, like a Cinnabon cinnamon roll that you get at the mall. And then as it sat for a minute, I got like a burnt Cinnabon flavor. You know, if you were to leave those Cinnabons in the in the oven a little too long, and they get chocolatey, crispy, crunchy, um, that's what it tasted like. And then the more they sit, the more it sits on my tongue. I get chocolate, I get vanilla, I get like a chocolate, like a chocolate ale, like a like a chocolatey chocolate ale, uh. Complete finish right there. So it's cinnamon, burnt. So here's what it is. We got cinnamon, and then we got burnt Cinnabon. And then we've got chocolate vanilla, and then we've got a long chocolate finish. In that order. That's how we got. And 
it's super thick. Like I almost feel like it's it's um I almost feel Sorry, I keep looking over here. I got something distracting me off the mat. Uh it it's chewy. Like I feel like I need a knife and a fork to actually eat this beer and not drink it. It's chewy. It's not a bad beer. It's good. It's not my kind of beer. It's not Um, it's my kind of beer in the fact that it's a imperial stout or a stout. It's my kind of beer in the fact that it's chewy. I just don't like the combination of flavors. Um, it reminds me of almost a burnt churro sundae. So if you were to burn that churro, put it in an ice cream swirl sundae, so like a chocolate vanilla swirl sundae, and eat it, and then all that's left in the bottom of the bowl that's like milky and melty is the chocolate ice cream. That's what it reminds me of. I feel like I feel like it needs a little bit more vanilla and chocolate, or at least a little bit more vanilla, to be uh, flavor front. So if it was a, if it was a vanilla burnt vanilla or burnt cinnabon vanilla chocolate long finish i'm cool with it but i just feel like it needs a little bit more vanilla however it's a great beer and i can't argue with a great beer i cannot argue with a good beer uh it doesn't fit my flavor profile i'm gonna finish the bottle it doesn't fit my flavor profile because i just don't really care for like the cinnamon something about it's not clicking with me other than the fact that it's a stout and it's tasty that's it that's what clicks with me. So, guys, if you're into horchata stouts, if you're into cinnamons and chocolates and vanillas in your beer, then this this is obviously perfect for you. For me, I'm going to drink it, uh, and I'll be happy about it because it is a good beer. I just won't buy it again. Guys, thank you for tuning in. That is my review on the El Duende Bottle Logic Horchata Imperial Stout. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Please hit a like, hit a subscribe, hit a thumbs up, do whatever. Um, I don't ask for much, but thank you. Uh, even if you don't do any of that, I appreciate you tuning in, and I will catch you next time. Actually, you'll catch me next time. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for just hanging out. See you later. <laughs>